We are live on my channel, and I am crabby and tired. Don't know why. Well, you look, but you look you great. See, I feel amazing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I am. Voice, audio. Adam has a delay, but we can still hear him. So you can see his mouth moving, but it's not lining up with his mouth audio. It's kind of like watching a Godzilla movie back in the day. You know? Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, back before your time. And, uh... I don't know. I probably like messed up stuff, but either way, I think it's fine. You think so? Well, while we wait for everybody to funnel back in, what do you you, we we think? I think that's just gave me the announcement. Oh, okay. So we got twenty nine people. I'm kind of curious if they can hear me because my my live stream (coughs) is not working now. I can hear you. It's good right. on my end. Well, I guess you're in charge of the live stream because mine's frozen. Wait, oh, start moving again. I don't know. Anyway, man, cut and dry. We got a huge announcement. And I want to come on here and tell you guys because this is like phase one of what is going down the next couple of months. And uh, let's see here. For starters... We have another live stream uh, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're in California, you might miss it live. It depends. You want to be an early riser. I don't know. Uh, you might have a dog like us. Yeah, might have a dog. Get you up to crack of dawn. But what <laughs> we got going on is before we met up with a former FBI informant. His name is Kevin. And he is an... Uh, he is a, he is a he is a he is a man. He is a great character, uh, and a fun guy to be around. But he has uh, he has he had a heck of a story for us. He asked us to come and dive in the East River in Manhattan to look for a car that he dumped fifty years ago. And it's a big long story. If you watch those videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But we have phase two, which means we are going back probably mid June, and we are going to dive the car that we found and we are going to expand the search and try to bring up as many parts as we can. And ultimately we're looking for human remains that were in the trunk. Now what makes this thing really cool is I'm gonna give you a little hint is uh, this story is more than just YouTube. And I don't want to give away too much because tomorrow's live stream is, is we have, we're going to have Kevin on. We're going to have, <laughs> I think you're freezing up a little bit on your camera. But yeah, you pretty much said it all. Um, tomorrow's like the main, I guess, big live stream with everybody. We have, we'll have Kevin and Sean on talking. Uh, I don't know how long it'll go. Knowing all of us, all of us chatterbox is probably an hour. <laughs> but there's a lot of uh, exciting things to talk about that I guess Kevin's going to talk about more tomorrow. Uh, that's, I mean, this is a huge, this is potentially our biggest ever like search discovery may I, I, or one of them for sure wouldn't you say you're you're on and on i have plenty like on my face and your arms up oh there we go why am i change the live stream again? or the yeah i think your audio is fine it's just the video mm-hmm. on and off Wi-Fi and see if that helps. Let's see. <coughs> you can't tell. There's a delay. Yeah, we'll see in a second. But yeah, this is a. Uh, I think you're good. All right. Um. Yeah. I mean, this was a big video for us. It was kind of honestly a needle in the haystack situation because 
I mean, you're talking about mobsters. You're talking about New York. You're talking about the East River. These giant, you know, place, this huge river, you know, this mobster, this huge organization. Tons of cars. People go missing throughout history. It's like there's been so many movies made. There's been so many shows. There's so many stories you hear about. I can't even imagine if you, like, live and grew up in New York hearing all the stories. And the fact that we had a goal, one mission, you know, go out there and find the specific car out of, who knows, 50-plus cars probably that are dumped in this area. And we found the one we were looking for. Um, yeah. So I guess, like, that whole thing I did, my, I was, like, frozen. <laughs> Your audio was fun. Well, I, I hope if pretty much, <laughs> by all means, ask questions in the uh, in the comp comments below just add like a three cues so we kind of catch it but essentially in a nutshell what i said before adam is we're heading back to new york mid-june to dive the vehicle that we found bring up as many parts as we can and ultimately look for human remains that could be scattered around that area that's it's kind of the ultimate goal if we could confirm that there was someone in the trunk of that car that'll be that'll be a win yeah because i mean when i came, huh i was saying when i came when i found the car it was at the very end of the dive it was running out of air the current was starting to pick up i didn't get a good look i didn't even know it was the car when i found it i just was like uh this is a car maybe it's the right one so um we don't know that's the big mystery we're going to talk about more with kevin is like was there a body i mean if there's there's a lot of evidence supporting the fact that it's a specific missing person that um kevin found out about so there's a, there's a lot of it's a lot of potential to be able to solve a case too and give closure and answers to a family definitely uh and we've been in touch kevin uh we've been in touch with the family so like and it's been 50 years since uh the car was dumped in the water and the suspected missing person who was in the trunk uh, we've been in contact with their family. So that's pretty cool. Yep. And somebody asked, are we cleaning rivers? Uh, yes. We've been doing lots of river treasure dives here recently, and we're, we're, we're going to have a lot more fun this season uh, now mm -hmm. that it's up, but we're also going to be doing missing person cases. So we're going to be doing a lot more. I'm going to try to double up on my videos, have a lot <laughs> more fun, and uh, just really milk this summer for all it's worth. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're going to try to have we, – oh, we just did a bunch of river treasure dives, like the good old days. So those are coming. I, I, I might have one on my channel this weekend. But those are coming out soon. Neat. So we're trying to do it all. We're trying to do it all. It's a, it's a, it's a big un undertaking. It turns out being a YouTuber is, is not a, as easy as it sounds. <laughs> well, it really depends, I guess. <laughs> uh, the, uh, pretty much the main reason for this live is uh, – does Adam have a? You have a wrench. You need what? to. Add, you have, you, I think you're. A, yeah, whatever. You need to add your link in the chat. Oh, okay. But essentially, the live is going to be on Adam's channel tomorrow at 10 a.m. And uh, y'all should be there. Um, I'm gonna be all amped up on coffee. And uh, man, if you guys get a whiff of all the stuff that Kevin says, you're gonna love this guy. Love him or hate him, but he, either way, he's. You're not gonna be bored. Because <laughs> uh, he definitely is a he's a he's he's one of these guys that movies are made of, so to speak. Yeah. So the the link I just put in there, you can go to, and you can uh you can make a reminder for yourself so you don't miss it. There's like it says like notify me on there, so you can hit that. Um, you can also just be subscribed to my channel and make sure that the bell is checked for notifications, and that way you won't miss it. But it'll be 10 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time. Everybody should already be subscribed, so that shouldn't be an issue. Oh, I mean, of course, all all of all of your six hundred thousand people. <laughs> yeah, but I think only like ten watch. Whose boat will you be using? Who's or what boat? boat? The boat we're going to use, John's. He has he has large, uh, ribbed rib inflatables, and uh, they can handle the uh, that kind of water. We <laughs> we took our little flat bottom boat out there. And uh, we was d definitely in on, over our heads. We didn't sink it, luckily, but man, we would have if we would have stayed out there. The swells that those those uh, car what do you call them ferries are putting off are no joke. I was <laughs> never 
been anything like that. I was just like, we're in over our heads. I was nervous. I'd be nervous with our new boat, the police boat we just got, we've been using. Even in that boat, I, I don't know. I don't know yet. I even, mm, I mean, it definitely is, we'll be pushing the limit, but it's, it's better than that John boat that we got. It's better, <laughs> yeah. That, that's, um, Kevin makes you mad, but you, but be, but can be hilarious at the same time. Yeah, Kevin. He's the exact definition of old school. <laughs> you know, like he, he is he is stuck in his time and it's awesome. Cuz you'll never meet another guy like him. <laughs> and he's got a lot of um a lot of things to talk about that I'm not going to talk about on this live stream cuz I don't want to spoil it for him, but he has huge <laughs> news besides just going back to New York for some YouTube videos. He's got lots of stuff going on and it could potentially impact all of us in a good way. So yeah. make sure you guys are, are are notified on that live stream tomorrow because it's going to be awesome. And uh, I, for one, won't be the one talking a lot. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I think we're going to try to keep it YouTube friendly. But Kevin, um... <laughs> Kevin has, yeah, Kevin, he's like me, but but worse. Like, <laughs> He's he's uh he's New York. Was he from Queens? I mean, he's he's got a potty mouth. Whatever. We're yeah. all adults here, and if there are any kids, I don't know. Maybe not let him watch it. <laughs> no, just might... just warning to everyone. You know, yeah, just uh, fair warning. There might be some f bombs here and there, but what it what it is what it is. I like that he doesn't sugarcoat. He says what he's thinking, and you know, like yeah, he called me he called me <laughs> fat the other day. What f word? Yeah, he was like, "Oh, you're a fat f," but he didn't say it like that. He was just like, "No, he called, said, you f, f uh, oh yeah, he's like, you fat.' He's like, Jeremy, you fat f.' He's like, what does Kevin <laughs> mean to you?' And I'm like, "Dang!" <laughs> Anyone else, I'd have been offended, but coming from him, I'm like, eh, "I get it." <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely. If you guys haven't seen the videos on either mine or Jeremy's page, definitely go watch those. There's like two or three. I mean, he's Different. got a video out right now. Kind of explains what's going on for the live stream tomorrow. But uh, I think you guys might want to go watch one of his videos. I mean, he's got a small YouTube channel, but it's all based on the mafia and and you know stories about his past. His book. Yeah, he's got a best. A, was it New York bestseller out? Two of them. Two of them. Cop without a badge. Yep. And, yeah, it's it's literally it's and is it well you you've been listening to it when you drive around. <coughs> and I was working on the cabin when I was doing the upstairs rooms. Oh, so you like yeah, you just listen to it. You liked it. I'm not big on books, but at the same time, you know, you are. I relate all the stories. Yeah, she's like my. I summed it up. You read it, and then you're you're my book for dummies, you know, because I'm the dummy. No. And he said, uh, and he said, there's new. Fees to drive through Manhattan. Well, luckily we're not actually on Manhattan by ourselves. If we do, it's going to be by someone else. Um, <laughs> but I mean, it was it was expensive enough just to get to uh, the RV park, and we yeah. was on the other side of the Hudson in Jersey. We never did go on the island. They're charged by the axle, so yeah. it's even a regular car. Oh my god! It was fifty. What was it? What was it? There's a turnpike somewhere that gets you into Jersey, New Jersey. Uh, Jersey City. 50 bucks. I like passed out. I probably had to pay it going back, but I think I may have accidentally dodged the camper. <laughs> well, we had the big boat behind the truck of the camper, and then... Yeah, my, uh, my tag isn't where it's supposed to be. It's, it's I don't know. Alleg allegedly, right? Allegedly, yeah. <laughs> I'm not admitting to a crime, but... <laughs> UK is five hours ahead. Eastern is 10 a.m. is perfect. Great. If you guys are international, you're going to love it. It's going to be like midday for you. Or early afternoon. Uh, Jersey City is Little Italy. I, You know, it was definitely a, a different view for me and Adam. We was at an Italian restaurant with Kevin, and i never seen so much spandex on people. Like <laughs> There's chicks walking around with huge hair. And wrestling uniform on, and I'm just like, damn, that's a thing. You never see anybody in Georgia walking around looking like that. <laughs> but I guess like what in Jersey girls, like Jersey Shore, Jersey Shore, 
I guess it's it's no joke. Kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know about living there, but it's it's kind of it's kind of like a zoo going to just walk through it. I'm trying to live. You're one of those people like you don't have a car, you got a scooter or you know or a bike. You don't you don't leave a large footprint. You know, like it would kind of it probably that might be easy, but. <laughs> If I had to leave and commute and all that, I was like, oh, no. I want to have an apartment, and I go downstairs to work. That's all I got to do. In my PJs. <laughs> New York is scary. I would like to argue with you, but somebody set himself on fire today on live TV. I saw that. So I was like, eh, maybe New York is kind of spooky. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah he just... He just Lit himself up. I'm sure if anybody's watching from New York, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But, ooh, dang bees. What else you got? You got any big news coming up? Me? Yes. Uh, big news. Huge news. I don't know about big news, but... Well, coming from you, everything's big and tall. He can reach the shelves. He can. I, I mean, we're... we're... I don't know. We're we're just trying to do more. We're trying to you know pull out more cars on Rex cover. We're trying to maybe try a few different te- new videos. Uh, I want to collab with more people this year. I mean, we have big plans for that to work with other YouTubers. And... <laughs> Did you see the comment? He's pregnant. What? <laughs> what? Somebody wrote, "He's pregnant." <laughs> me? Yeah. I, I feel yeah. Like you knocked up. <laughs> you mean me <laughs> or Gary? <Yeah. laughs> Uh, man, well, say, I think I'd I would have known. Too. I would have known if there was, if there was the pitter patter, dad, baby daddy. What? Damn. That's well, that brings me to my next point. Uh, here, no, I'm just like, here's what I got. Oh, <laughs> surprise! It'd be like your wedding. Oh yeah, I had a surprise wedding. That was. I didn't tell you about it. You didn't know. No, yeah, what the hell is that about? I thought I, I was supposed to know everything. I figured it out. <laughs> man. Well, whatever. If you'd have been married like a year later, I would have been offended if I wasn't the best man. Just saying. I didn't even have a best I didn't even do any of that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I would have been the only one in the wedding. Can, can um Carrie can have one person. We got any we got any, we got any questions? I don't There's know. Really any coming through that you haven't answered. Somebody did ask, I'm late, what's going on? But in a nutshell, we're going back to New York in June, and we're diving the East River numerous times, and we're going to be hunting for the remains of the car and human remains. That's the ultimate goal. Yeah. We're going to make a stink, <laughs> and we're going to make the coppers mad, and hopefully get on the news. Good morning, America, first. Yeah, I don't know. Tow truck. Names. Oh, yeah. If people are wondering, um, the tow truck... Names, it still happened. We have we have, we didn't we didn't uh, lie to you guys. It's just we're trying to figure out. Excuse me. <laughs> we're trying to figure. I know, man. Rude. We're trying to figure out a way. We want to wrap the wrecker, you know, because like the paint's flaking off. So it's like, man, it'd be cool if we could wrap this thing. But that is something we don't have the funds for. But we want to get all the signatures on the boom, but the boom is also peeling. I'm thinking maybe we could just vinyl wrap the boom. I'm pretty sure we could handle that. And that way it's like technically painted, but we didn't have to like spend a whole bunch of money to paint it. We'll just, you know. Yeah, put like, I mean. That... And then we could put the vinyl stickers of the signatures all over it. Yeah, we could probably, we'll probably do that. Um I wish we would have had it done already, but these things, it's just so hard. It's so hard to get all these things done, but we're, uh, we're still, it's going to happen. And I apologize. I know people probably want to see this, put their, get their names put on the record. And I'm still getting donations for that GoFundMe from people, um, even today. So, which is, it's pretty cool. Um, man, a lot of people are like, man, you're ballsy diving that river. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as like, you know, we weren't in the like dangerous. It wasn't bad as long as you don't, you know, slack tides when we went. Like we actually dove a full tank and didn't have a problem at all. 
but uh, I'm sure there's spots of it that are dangerous. But I think that's about the only luck we have is the car is in a spot where it's not deep and treacherous. It's like, oh, it was like 20, 30 feet. It wasn't but bad, yeah. Not bad at all. And it's rocky and flat. So I'm like, it's kind of what we're used to. So it was, I wasn't near. Once we got in the water, I was like, this really ain't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So that's a good thing. Now, pollution-wise, yeah, you came home with an ear infection, didn't you? But you always do. Uh, I mean, I can't. I probably did. I don't know. I've gotten better. I just have to put vinegar in my ears before and after. Although I did just get a uh, splinter in my eyeball. Yeah, that was. Yeah, neat. someone was asking how your eye is. It's it's, it's good. Just... Luckily, uh, I've been putting all these medicated eardrops. Um, did you tell the... people uh, urgent care to get it fixed? Or eye drops, not eardrops. Do what? You tell everybody you had to go to urgent care and all that? Yeah, I mean, I I thought it was. I didn't know what it was. Honestly, I kind of was worried it might be like E. coli or something because we just dove in the river and apparently there's an outbreak of E. coli going around. I woke <laughs> up with my eye, which is killing me. And then I Wait, saw in, the, uh, in a mirror that there was a big black spot on my eye. And I was like, God, what's going on? And I, I couldn't get it. It wasn't moving. So I had to go to the urgent care. And then she couldn't get it. And finally, like, she got it. And I'm good now. <laughs> Katie B. Fun. Oh, sorry. Katie B. asked about uh, getting a local rap company to do it. Um, I've contacted them. Um, nope. Uh, no. Long story short. Uh, I've contacted everybody that I could think of around the area. And, uh, I mean, you know, nobody wants to work for free. So, I didn't want to push it. Like, What I want to do is we're gonna t- I want to take the record to a vinyl rap place here close to me and see what the a quote is. And then kind of talk, plan a bug in their ear. But I think the best thing, best case is they'll probably give us a discount. But they're still going to have to make money. It's a business. You can't just be doing free stuff unless you're like a big, rich company. But I can imagine vinyl rap company businesses, they're not like huge profit, at least right here. No. Maybe yeah, in my- if, anybody, if anybody knows or has a family friend or somebody that wants to help us out, I mean, that'd be cool. Yeah. For a- there's a vinyl rap company. I would love to partner with you, but I hate pushing the partnership issues. I like free products from companies. That's cool. But local businesses, it's, it's, it's hard to ask them like, hey, you want to do work for free? I'm like, man, right. got to support your small business, your local business. I mean, yeah, it depends. We're trying to, I don't know. It'd be cool to have like, like a NASCAR tow truck where we have like sponsor logos on parts of it. Like from the, the people that, the products we like or the, pe- the companies we support, you know, yeah. I think that'd be pretty cool. You want to go to uh, Ireland? I'm down. I don't, have a, I don't have a passport. Go diving, magnet fishing or something? Sweet. What else we got going on in here? Ohio waters would be great for wrecked and recovered videos. I'm guessing because of all the cars. Uh, yeah, we don't talk to the J word anymore. I don't even like mentioning his name, to be honest with you. <laughs> How is the people's record holding up? It's actually, I mean, it, I think it runs like a champ. You're the one that drives it every time, so I don't know. Oh, the driving is not the problem. It's I think it's not getting enough power, like compared to our old record. I don't know if it's a safety switch cutoff or something. We're no, getting cars out. The, the hydraulics. I don't know. I don't know because, like, yeah, like it maxes out, but the winches max out, and I was like, well, maybe that's normal. But the boom also would like max out and stop working after a certain amount of uh, pull. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. You think the the boom would go until the cable snapped? Yeah. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I mean, it still pulls a lot. I mean, we, you know, we like we made that truck do a wheelie before it bought. So I'm like thinking, I'm like, oh, I mean, it's still pulling a lot. Yeah. I think there is there might maybe it's the PTO, but that's a sixteen hundred dollar part. <laughs> And then the uh, hydraulic pump, but I don't I think know. It's working though. I mean, it, we've gotten cars out with it, so I don't. Yeah, it just seems like it's, it has more power than 
I think it could. Be, I think it has more power. We just got there's one more part that I think needs to be fixed. Yeah, it's got. It's got. It might be just like, it's not leaking though. Like nothing's leaking. It, it's. It's probably something simple, or su- simple and expensive. So, what equipment or items are we in most need of right now? Like if we could only get one thing right now, what would it be? Gosh, gas cards. <laughs> I mean, technically, we have. We have all the equipment we need, really. I, well, I mean, an underwater oh, drone would be cool. Should we get a PTO? <laughs> <laughs> a PTO? I, I don't know if that's the problem, though. We need to get that truck looked at, uh, just to be sure. I mean, we have an Amazon wish list with, with generic items that are... I like the PTO on there. <laughs> yeah, do they have... Is that on Amazon? <laughs> I'll tell you what would be cool. It would be prepaid cards, gas, uh, Waffle House, Cracker Barrel... That would, that would be like gift cards would be probably the easiest and ideal things because that's we're always at Cracker Barrel, but we've we've noticed really quick that Cracker Barrel is actually kind of spendy when you eat there all the time, and Waffle House is amazing, and usually they're right next to each other, so we just go to Waffle House after we leave Cracker Barrel, yeah. but not to say we don't still eat at Cracker Barrel sometimes. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Waffle House waffles are amazing. You know, I don't eat them no more because they're fattening. There's a baby thunderstorm, like a, a baby pop up. Look at this. Boop. Can they see it? I can't tell. Yeah. I don't I know looked. if I can. Oh. I'll add some. I'll add some. There's like Visa gift cards. I don't know. I thought they had gas cards on Amazon. We spend so much on gas. It's crazy. Gas. Yeah. Ugh, dude. Uh, oh, I'm on it. Oh, it's the sweatshirts. Exploringwithnug.com. Do, do we sell sweatshirts? We have some hoodies. Okay. Yeah, Candace will put the link in, saving the cabin. But yeah, just go to our website. We have all kinds of merch there from all of our pages. So you can get wrecked and recovered and nug and brown and saving the cabin. All kinds of stuff. Man, there ain't no link. It's supposed to be www. Oh, they, I tried. They get it. Visa cards are great. They work for everything. That's true. That's very true. Mm, kind of <laughs> 300 people here usually I got a bigger audience than that i'm sad well, it's probably because i had to like it's pretty know, good stop and start a lot yeah the stream didn't want to start yeah i need to shave i look i look grody i like you baby face i'll see my going back to the silver goatee i like the way that looked when we first started rector uncovered yeah man it, it, and uh I also liked the the beard, just any beard, but uh, <laughs> Rex recovery. Yeah, that that fat Fu Manchu, shave all this, just just big old long mustache. <clears throat> I mean, I tried to grow. I just can't grow a good beard. This is all I got. Yeah, see, like, I can kind of see it. it's like it's red down here, but then everything else is silver. So like, man, I'll just keep I'll just keep this and get rid of the gray. Then no one will know that I'm old. <laughs> Can't put a thumbs up. I donated a 18-foot ski boat to Muddy Waters. I, okay. I want oh. one too. We got too many. We got enough boats, dude. We don't. We don't need any we more. Don't. Boats. Man, I just like. I like boats. I'm, well, actually, I want a. I want a jet boat. That's my next dream. But uh, we don't need it. That's a want. There's a want and a need. And uh, I want a lot of stuff, but I don't need it. I think I think we're pretty set on equipment. We have everything we need. I mean, I have an underwater drone. It, right. it kind of broke, but that would be cool to have a nicer one. I want a. Uh, I don't know more sonar. And as dang, carpenter. Car- yeah, as a carpenter bee, just looking for, looking to irritate me, drilling holes in my house. You on the cabin? Oh yeah, I saw one at my deck. Is drilling one on the deck annoying it's really cool like when they're ev- there there's some place where they're everywhere and I'll, I'll go out there with like a, a tennis racket or a badminton racket and uh have a good old time it's a massacre <laughs> mm-hmm. your boat poor yep but we do get lots of lights and cool stuff so like we can we can cruise at night there's a spotlight i don't know I would just like to have one of these boats that has everything on it. You know, that way you got to worry about nothing. You know, it's raining. If it's, we got all the lights. We got, mm, 
Yep. Adam's dry suit update. Adam's dry suit. Where is it, man? It's in the mail, but it might in take the- it might take six months. Apparently, apparently the uh, the people that make the dry suit, the factory, whatever, they're very behind, and they just got I think bought out by another whites or dry, I don't even know DUI dry suits. It's a whole mess from what I understand all the scuba shops say. So uh unless they happen to have a generic normal height person size, uh it takes like six months because I'm uh, because I'm as tall and big as I am, I'm kind of a little bit screwed. <laughs> nice. But it's already it's already paid for, so it's just whenever it they they ship it. Yeah, make fun of the short people. See? Well, listen, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I mean, it. you know, it's cool to be tall until you need to get something, <laughs> like, custom. Or yeah, I asked him, I was like, do you ever, like, ever wished to be short, like, short people wish to be tall? And he's like, no. <laughs> I don't know. My, my back's been creaking. My knee's been creaking more. I don't oh, know. you should over to go under a pipe. I thought, <laughs> thought I popped a lot. It's not great. My, my brand, my Blow brand, <laughs> my dry suit right now is uh, a Pinnacle Evolution Two dry suit, but the one I just got is like a cool. Uh, it's like a what? What is it called? It's like a environmental hazard cleanup red dry suit. It's pretty. It's pretty sick. Get rid of that guy. Uh, so we had a question earlier. How many missing people do you have on the list to search for this summer? Uh, I, we don't we don't have a list. Uh, we kind of just go with the flow, so to speak. And we get lots of messages every day, and people come up missing every day. So we'll make a plan, and then our plan will go to hell, and then we'll do something else. But every time we're going out, we're searching for somebody different. We just don't have anybody saved yeah. on a list. Well, I have a list, but... Well, we all have a list, but we're not sticking to it. We're just like, well, we need to go to Tennessee this week. Okay, we'll go do two or three cases in Tennessee. Yeah, each you week, know? it's usually at least two cases a week. Yeah. Every week or every other week, we're doing two or three cases. And then now we're adding in scuba diving just just for fun, scuba diving videos also to kind of just, you know, keep our sanity so we have some more fun. How did you get your nickname? I used to metal detect, nug, gold nugget, treasure. It's <laughs> everybody at work started calling me that, and I just kind of stuck with it. Oh, I will. Now that now that she's gone. Ooh. Oh, there's some other question on here. Man, I forgot. Up right hand corner. What was the brand of your dry suit? You said was it a DUI? No, it's a pin- pinnacle. pinnacle, pinnacle evolution too. But I, I hate to say it. I know. I, I mean, I would recommend it. I, I it's I'm having, pro- I'm having problems with it now because we 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 are very rough and hard on them. So it's probably not the dry suit's fault. It's more my fault. Although yours has never had any problems, so I don't know. I mean, I told the guy I was like, I need one. What did I tell him? I need one that's durable. And could take a beating. And he told me this Hollis. And I, I hadn't had a problem with it yet. I think the neck the neck gasket is due. But I mean, I've had that thing for a couple of years at least. Yeah. And I've literally never replaced anything on it. So I think it's pretty good. But uh yours yours will be fine too. It's it's okay. Yeah, I mean I'm excited to get my new one, but I hear an owl. You know what he's saying? An owl. Yeah. I hear a buzz. It sounds like a buzzing. No, right now it's starting to rain. It's getting dark. Let's see. Do you still have that Fred Flintstone towel slash dress? Man, that's a scuba dive. You know, like the the poncho thing with the hoodie on. Oh. I don't have, I don't know what happened to that, but like, man, that was a good purchase. Ooh, look, a hidden review. Adam Brown, I'd like to see your wife make an appearance sometime. I mean, she's been in my videos very rarely. She's a she's a behind the scenes kind of gal. Yeah. I don't think she cares. She just doesn't care. You know, she's like, eh, whatever. Yeah. 
What is that? Bu Why does it keep buzzing? I don't hear any buzzing. Oh, does it come and go? Yeah, it's like... Mer, mer. Oh, yeah, the car is going by the road. It sounds like a, you're getting a text message or something. Well, as long as it's not bad. Look. Oh, God. Uh, there's something behind me. It looks like a ghost. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, she loves to be on camera, so give her hell. I hear a fart sound. Close enough. Whoa. There's a buzz. Yeah, sounds, sounds like you're getting a text or something. It's buzzing. Anyways, yeah. Um, man, we've been, we've been pretty busy lately. We've been searching a lot. It's uh, we've been finding cars all over the place. It's some of these cases, man. They just seem like. What do they keep hearing? Some of these cases are pretty tough that we're working on. I also hear buzzing. Man, y'all are crazy. I think it's from the road. <laughs> no, they don't. Th th this one guy's like, that's not a car. I think you're getting a text message or something. Somebody's texting me. I don't. I don't have my or phone the, silent. Or the, um... Do you have another phone sitting on the table? <laughs> I mean, a few, but they're not vibrating. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, you have that connection. Dude. Doesn't look like it. Anyways. Here, here, here comes a good buzz. Are there any more questions? Uh, do you want to give everybody a recap? No concern. No, you're getting weather alerts. I am, actually. Yeah, I guess I can hear that one. Oh. It's, ra it's raining there? Well, it's raining, and there's lightning in the area, I guess. I don't yeah, know. It's, it's like a storm just popped up. I don't know. It, yeah, was, it was sunny a little while ago. It was blue sky. Blue sky. What really sucks is, no, we're not close to the road. There's like an acre in front of me to the road. But you can still hear everything, especially the loud motorcycles. Oh, the only thing that sucks about warm weather here is they just rip down this thing. I don't get it. It's loud. It's I'm terrible. All right. Anyway, so the recap, we have a huge live stream event tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sit your reminders and join us. Uh, we got lots of things to talk about. In a nutshell, we're going back to New York. And we're going to continue searching for the missing person that supposedly was in the trunk of the car that we located. It's been 50 years, so there is no car anymore. It's just plastic in the big parts, like the axles and the frame. And yeah. we never had an engine yet, but it's got to be there somewhere. But our goal is to go recover as many parts as we can and maybe find a bone that we can confirm is human. And that will crack the case wide open. Because we have the family is involved in the missing person who we think was in the backseat of the car. And we're going to talk about all of this tomorrow on the live stream. And then, man, uh, it, back, to, back to New York in mid-June. And uh, I thought that was, that was the coolest adventure ever, personally. I thought I could never get enough of that. Uh, as long as I didn't live there. <laughs> I was allowed to leave. No, I'm not drinking a spicy Coke. I was drinking a Beer. watermelon. No, they're, talking about, they're talking about me. I'm drinking a... Oh, you! Cherry, oh. cherry Coke. Zero. Cherry. Zero sugar. Zero sugar. Yeah. But I, yeah. I have had that spicy one. I don't like it. It's not very good. I, I, it looks. It's like raspberry flavor, but it's not really raspberry tasting. I don't know. It's weird. What is the address for the gift cards? Uh, I, I just would... Well, I yeah, just... Put in the covered Amazon... List, put our put the wish list in this in the chat. Ooh, how do I That'd do be that? the easiest. You don't have, you don't have to ship anything. You just you know buy it on Amazon and it'll come uh -huh. to us. I put them in the wrecked and recovered list. All right. Um, I don't know if this will share it if I do this. Why not? Just save the save the link and paste it. Well, I guess it's this. Let's see. Oh, it goes to, it goes to like it goes to like my Amazon. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that that, that that that's pretty cool. The the Amazon wish list. If you guys haven't heard us talk about it, do it before because it just sends us gear rather than just money. Which I mean, we appreciate the donations, but it's actually cool to get gear and you guys see it in the videos and and know that you know it's going to what you're wanting to spend to help us with. Somebody asked uh, the bone that I found in New York. It really was a bone, and we actually had it tested, and uh, it was an animal bone. But 
Still cool. We found a bone. They we, don't know what type. Yeah, we didn't get it checked that far, so it very well could be the bone. I doubt it's it. Petrified. Whatever it, it is, turned calcified. Yeah, it is very old. Whatever it is, it's been down there a long time. But it was animal. We don't know what kind of animal. Still have it. But it'd be really cool if it was an animal that is now extinct. You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm just sinus asking infection. Mom yeah, she's been sick here pretty bad. She's battling sinus infection. Uh, chicken poked her eye. Uh, she had an ear. Well, the chicken poking, poked my eyelid. But I was already I was, working on conjunctivitis. I was, I was trying to make you sound you know, oh. like, ah, oh, chicken poked your eye and you ruined it. You're in the joke. What? Yeah, I looked rough. What? And then she decided she didn't want to share it, so she took it off. It's no big deal. That's Vicky. The, she's OG. She's been around many, many, many moons, many moons. Pepsi Max is not very Pepsi Max. You should try that. Pepsi Max. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's turning pink. <laughs> it oh God. Sky. It's blue sky over there. It's pink. Oh. Sunset. Oh. He's back. Dude, dude. <laughs> but get up out of my dang face. He's not oh. made of flying bugs. No. Including butterflies. No, I don't care about bugs. I don't like bees and wasps and hornets and anything else that will hurt me. Or butterflies. This, see, look at him. You know what, dude? What did you blew away? I still think they scared anybody says. Bees are important. That's not a bee. That's just a pain in the ass. David, hey David, yeah, I did you get that link you sent, David, uh, regarding that wrecker on Pepe's towing? Uh, that thing's a beast. I think it's a little out of our price range, but it would be cool. Uh, we already, I mean, we got the wrecker now. We're we're good on wreckers. I mean, but I appreciate you sending that. The uh, the autistic child in Tennessee, we are aware, and we also know that there is many states. Of many states of people, does that make sense? Lots of people are currently searching that have way better resources than we could ever dream of. And uh, if they need help searching the water, we'll be there. But we're, we're not, we don't want to go down there and just get in the way at this, yeah. at this time. And it's been mentioned that there are people trying to get in the way. Yeah, yeah, something happened with like people going there to search. They didn't say YouTubers, but they definitely said they were something live about streaming. live streaming, social media, and they were just pretty much flying by the seat of their pants when other people are trying to keep the searches organized. And that immediate, that was like, I don't want to go there and start filming and looking like it's all for personal gain. You know, obviously we film to document to pay for everything we're doing, but sometimes. You just gotta read, but you just gotta read between the lines. Yeah, read between the lines yeah. and realize don't go there. You're just gonna make any everybody mad. It's fresh too. This poor family, his 15 year old disappeared in the middle of the night. So uh, last thing they want is a bunch of YouTubers running around with GoPros. Coming closer, man. We're about to get off of here. It's like a little thunderstorm is about to go right over us. I'm scared. Well, I think I mean I think that's a pretty good. Live stream tomorrow's is gonna be twice as long. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how long it's gonna go. It's gonna be. A it's gonna be a. We're gonna have Kevin on, Sean from New York safety vessels, safety boats. Yep. We're gonna be talking everything going on, and uh, we got some cool news. So. Big news. All right. Yeah. Pretty pretty large news, but we're let, we're gonna let Kevin tell it because, I mean, it's just fun to listen to him. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I'm done. Got anything else to say? I don't think so. Uh, I'll put the link one more time in the the comment. Oh, that's the other link. Well, All right. I'll put it in the Amazon link. I'll put. It's not there right now, but I'll put it in here in a minute. But either way, 10 a.m. tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna be live again on Adam's channel. So make sure you go and and uh, and uh, subscribe. Ooh, Neat. Yeah. How are you doing? I was just. Is that for the bugs? No, oh. that's just for. I see you see him on the post behind us. Uh, I'm cool. It's kind of neat. All right, man. I'll talk to y'all later. I'll see y'all tomorrow, 10 a.m. And that's it. Okay, bye. Right. See y'all tomorrow. Bye.